never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. 
I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now, it ain't a race. good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. We can chat later. The sooner you finish these tests, the sooner... you can get out of here. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right, I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. House. Night. Enemy. 
Light. Mother. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? Last one. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you... Ain't... I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should...
Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw it look one. Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. I'm a Securitron. Rob goes. Happy trails! Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson, at the Northern Passage if you're interested. Luck to you. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we def Welcome back to the program. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I hope I'm not coming on too strong. Whoops, better put on my newsman fedora here. Unconfirmed reports say NCR's General Lee Oliver may have uprooted from his post at Camp McCarran in order to be present at Hoover Dam. NCR sources say that holding the dam against Caesar's Legion has become their main strategic priority, and this move would not be unexpected. Today's headlines were brought to you by Prem. Prem, the other New Vegas. And now, I'd like to play one of my very favorite songs for you.
Hey there. If you're look if you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Back to the program. This is Mr. New Vegas, and I hope I'm not coming on too strong. Here are our top stories. The influx of displaced residents to the refugee camp at Bitter Springs has caused a strain on rations there. NCR officials are asking for donations. Also in the headlines... Merchants are saying that there's been little contact between traders from Nipton in recent days, causing concerns that the isolated town may be in trouble. The news has been brought to you by the Vicky and Vance Casino. Vicky and Vance, be our partners in crime. And now, I'd like to play one of my very favorite songs for you. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just you have. It's just about time to get you some news. NCR Correctional Facility is now under prisoner control following a successful riot. 
Locals should avoid anyone who looks like they've done time. Moving on. The Helios 1 solar power plant remains dormant despite NCR's effort to reactivate the facility. The chief scientist at the plant vowed to fix the problem, blaming it on an atmosphere of, quote, severe underappreciation. Those are our stories for this hour. This is Mr. New Vegas signing off. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going anywhere. My love for you is too strong. You know, sometimes the journey beats the destination. And especially if your spurs go jingle, jangle, jingle, and you meet some nice gals along the way. It's Radio New Vegas, and I'm your host, Mr. New Vegas. And in case you're wondering if you've come to the right place, you have. Here are our top stories. Scavengers report hulking individuals moving around Hidden Valley after dusk, but have been unable to identify them due to low visibility. One more story for you. Patrons of the Ultralux are questioning whether its pricey restaurant, the Gourmet, is overstating the fullness of its wait list. Those who claim to have dined at the restaurant find the food appealing, but say many tables remain empty. That's the news. This is Mr. New Vegas filling in for Mr. New Vegas. Hey, New Vegas, have you ever said you love someone?